Hey guys, Mr. Gamer here once again. So, a lot's happened since the last episode. First of all, this caught on fire again and burnt a considerable portion of the place down. That happened. I also took these chests and moved them up there. I'll show you guys that in a second. And I've been AFKing now for about two hours or so. I've almost complete. Uh, well, okay. I've completely filled every single double chest except Rotten Flesh because I traded some of that for emeralds and all. And I've had and I've almost filled the second double chest. Like here, let me show you what I've got going on up here. Oh, I also I moved the water thing here. Put that ladder there. I know it seems like a lot's changed, but these are all little things. Produce some stuff with this. Coming over here, you can see I've expanded our storage considerably. So, the rotten flesh is almost done with this double chest. This one's pretty much empty. That's just because we used it to trade. As you can see, bones are well into the top chest. Gunpowder, well into the top chest. And arrows getting there as well. I've just produced this much. I did take down the organization, and that is because I added in this thing, which is a hopper goes down into this double chest from this double chest, but items are not currently going into it, as you can see, because of this redstone torch powering it, which can be switched off with that lever. So basically, this lever activates bulk storage. If I put this lever, if I flipped it so it's facing down, then everything would start flowing into this double chest. That's just to add for more space in case we have some sort of overflow thing. Put a bunch of storage here, as you can see. Add these. Yeah, we got almost two stacks of iron from the iron farm during that. Over here we have farm goods. This is just random junk that I don't have another place for. Up here we have nether stuff. Here we have all the different types of tree related resources, as you can see. And here, I don't know. That's just empty at the moment. So all that happens. And these chests, by the way, this is for armor and stuff. Like, we have the bottom chest is for boots, then leggings, chest plates, helmets. And the top one is for tools, like bows or something we get off skeletons. This has been going for a while. It's been very, very slow. Like, what? What are you, a cleric? 30... Oh... Oh, come here. No! Okay, don't freak out. Don't panic. It's okay. Next time it'll come around. Oh, please, come on. I need that cleric. I've been trading with this Fletcher with some of our string. His trades have locked up, and I've tried all these. He won't unlock, so I don't know what to do. So, yeah. Come on, that cleric should be coming around soon. But, yeah. There's a spider stuck up there. But all of our farms have been working at maximum efficiency, doing very well. This villager breeder has pretty much stopped, although there's already a lot of villagers in it, as you can see. So yeah, everything is making progress. Everything is good. Here, we can still access the crafting tables, and we have water sources. That's cool. There's an enderman here. Hold on. This is how I pretty much deal with these guys. Just kind of push on them. This is why I haven't filled in these gaps, because you might think this is dangerous, having no fences here, but this is actually helping me stay safe. No, you son of a... Alright. Um, yeah. He's there. But all these mobs collecting in here during that AFK session, I've already cleaned it out a couple times. You guys wouldn't... Like, I didn't even have a frame rate. My frame rate was not good. I mean, it wasn't terrible because I actually came over and cleared it out. Yeah, I did some trading with the Fletcher, as you can see. Has that cleric come around yet? Should have come around to one of these modules, right? Oh, yep, here he is. Seems to itself, this one's wild. So the system's clearly flawed, but that's alright. Alright. Please have a good redstone trade. I really want this guy to be our guy. So we're just going to grab some rotten flesh here and go test this out. I really hope this is our guy. I, he has the perfect rotten flesh trade, but I want to unlock him with the other trades. So basically, I need a cleric that has the perfect rotten flesh trade and the perfect redstone trade. He has the perfect rotten flesh trade. Let's see. Come on. You got this. Uh, that's a decent redstone trade. 
So, you know what? We'll get a better one. I think that was the right choice, guys. Yeah. Oh well. That's fine. This guy, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to have to do this trade, which I kind of don't like because that requires using up all cobblestone, which is actually the first thing I want to do in today's episode, make a better cobblestone generator. That one down there, A, it's down there. I want one up here on this level. B, it's frankly pretty slow. And C, it has a habit of setting fire to everything near it made of wood. And I don't even know how that's possible. The lava is completely sealed off, but whatever. We can fix it. So, I need to come up with a working design, and I will be right with you. Also, guys, this is a bread maker, for those of you that don't know what it is. It's a really good farm for carrots, wheat, potatoes, and beetroot. And I've modified it so that it will also do cocoa beans. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be building this in the future. But, uh, yeah. Actually, maybe we'll do that later in today's episode, but first... That's not our priority. Our priority is a cobblestone generator. And I think a while back, I was testing over here, yeah, this guy. This is... No, if we want to make a good cobblestone generator, well, that would require using pistons and stuff, which now we can, because we've got a pretty good amount of redstone from the villagers, and the iron farm's doing better than ever, so I'm going to design one that actually uses some amount of redstone, because we can do that now. So, I think five blocks is going to be enough, for now at least. That's, yeah, you guys will see what I mean in a second. The easiest way to do this, I believe, would be to utilize sticky pistons, and normally that'd be expensive, but because our tree area, slime spawn there, so, you know, yeah. I have actually have like a little over a stack of slime balls now, so this, we can actually do something like that. So I went ahead and did six blocks, because why not? I don't think we're going to need it, but, you know, whatever. So the idea of this, let me get our water and our lava. And we do have, like, an infinite amount of lava now, because we have access to the nether. So just grab a few more buckets from there to do this, if we need them. But if we put water source blocks on all of these, then we build a little ring of blocks above this thing, and put lava in it, and then put sticky pistons off to the side, you guys will see in a second. So now we just put lava on top here. You'll see that will all form stone. Cool. And then we need... Hold on. How could we possibly do this now? Because you see the problem is... No, we can make this work. Alright. We need to take out all of these bottom blocks here and replace them with normal pistons facing upwards. That's first. Alright, so here is our machine. You will see that if we hit this button, that will be pulled up and out and stuff. And did I just see some weird lava -y stuff going on in here? Hold on. If I hit the button again, will it have issues? Yeah, that one... Do you see that one block in the middle is not... And why is it forming... So, yeah, we're having issues here. Hold on. Now, what's causing this? Uh-oh. Let me do some experimenting here. Alright, so I think I have a working design now. As you can see, this is it. If you guys want to try to build it in your own world or whatever. So all it needs... So, basically, this... Redstone Torch controls everything. It powers through this repeater, and that's so it has a little bit of delay, which you'll see in a second. Turning off that Redstone Torch, and taking this Redstone line out all the way along here, which powers these Redstone Torches, which power these pistons. And the reasons these aren't extending are because these piston heads are in the way, but they won't be for long, because what happens, this Redstone Torch is also powering up here. If I hit this button, this Redstone Torch will turn off, causing these guys to retract. Now, this repeater, because it's delayed, will make sure that these don't immediately activate, which means for a second, like a split second, these pistons will extend. You'll see. Hold on. Look at this. And so far, it appears to be functioning completely flawlessly. I've not had any problems with it. And, yeah, so this is the design, and I guess, like, maybe somewhere... 
we'll put like a block here, right? And then starting on probably this level, we'll just get rid of all this, right? And then we'll take some furnaces and put them at the top here. So, and put this on, on like a clock of some sort. Actually, I should experiment here what kind of speed we should make the clock at. Alright guys, so this is on the clock, so as you can see, I could just stand right here, hold down break button, and blocks would be put up here. What is happening down here? Oh, what? Huh? So guys, after a couple minutes of designing and redesigning over here, I've ultimately come up with this. I was making it way too overcomplicated there. Here, all of these repeaters and redstones are powering these blocks, these pistons, right? This is all powered by this symbol clock here. That doesn't need too much explaining. Up here, why is that not creating cobblestone? What? Why? There. I'm slightly worried we're going to get a couple glitches like that. But let's just test this out. If I grab a diamond pickaxe, this is the fastest tool in the game. So this is fast as it's possible for us to mine this. Slash game mode one. No. Zero. I'm just going to hold this down. Okay, that's... Oh, it's hap... It's hap... Oh, no, it's not. I was going to say, it's happening again, the weird glitchiness thing. But... Yeah, it's happening. This isn't... Why? Oh, my God. I hate this so much. Why, you piece of... <laughs> Alright. Back to this design. I've designed and redesigned this thing like ten times now. And it's kind of embarrassing, but I just changed the delay on the, you know, timer, and I think this is going to work, fingers crossed. Yeah, this is, like, as fast as we can possibly run. We could get, like, a beacon and, you know, efficiency and stuff, but here, let me show it to you in creative mode. You can see it... We can't reach us that far, so it kind of stops, and then, you know, yeah. Because it doesn't reach that far, in the final design, I may just take this final piece out, although we do need to leave a block there in this water for the distance and all. But yeah, here it is. Here's the design. It's kind of big and bulky, I know. I literally could not come up with anything better. It's late. Maybe I'll figure something out better in the future. But let's just get to building this thing. So we have to build up something non-flammable, relatively cheap, and doesn't look as disgusting as netherrack. Our only option, therefore, is cobblestone, which might be slightly confusing. So, yeah, we'll have to see how this goes. Also, I don't actually think I have enough cobblestone to finish this thing, but first, I'm going to make the repeaters and everything. So we need, let me think about this. We need five regular pistons for starters, so I'm just going to get to work on that. So I kind of underestimated the fact that this is actually going to take up a relatively large number of resources. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. But um, anyways, let's go on ahead, build out here a little ways. And probably get started right around here so yeah see you in a second can anyone explain to me right now why there's a big hole inside of my iron farm oh do you know what probably happened I did not even consider this it was storming when I went to go AFK up there for a little while lightning probably hit it and then, yeah, fortunately it did not burn completely down because this water stopped the fire. So that's kind of cool, actually. Here, hold on. I'm going to figure a way up there and then, you know, I'll fix it up here off camera probably. While we're over here, let's see how the old iron farm's doing. 
Yeah, all right, I'll take it. The more the merrier. Hey guys, so here we are once more. I treated. I said that like it was an intro. I know I'm just gonna add it to the back of the last video. I haven't recorded in like days, so yeah, we're back once again. But you guys won't have noticed that I was ever gone, so pretend I'm not speaking right now. Anyways, here it is. For the most part, I still have to build a little thingy up here and put lava and water in it. But in theory. It should now be more or less functional. So here it is. I didn't make it out of cobblestone, and that is simply because made out of wood, it would have burst into flames. I probably already mentioned that, but once again, I haven't recorded in a couple days, so, you know, I don't know whether or not I did, for sure. Grab all of these, because I feel like I might need them. I'm definitely going to need this to get some more buckets of stuff. Actually, hold on. What else am I going to need here? I need to build a little water thingamabobber that transports all the items to over here where the player would be. Or a set of hoppers, whichever one I decide to put in. I might just leave it so the player can collect them manually, but we'll see. So if I were to put a water source block here, then it would come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right to the end of that. That is perfect. So now we need blocks coming around the outside like this. Why don't I have a pickaxe on me? I'm building with copstone. Why don't I have a pickaxe? Still no more progress on this village breeder, although we are actually in 1.11 right now, guys. So my first time recording a Skyblock video in 1.11 just now occurred to me. I cleared out a large number of the villagers because they were causing a lot of lag. But uh, we have the green robe, guys, now. I've seen a couple of them around. Still nothing useful down here, though. But, you know, that's how it goes. I built this thing, the way it's made is it's going to be incredibly slow. That's both a good thing and a bad thing, because it's bad because it'll take a while to get going, but once it is going, it won't just overflow with villagers and crash the game, so that's a plus. Alright, so I'm going to put all of these here, so that I can take these furnaces, like this, for our immovable blocks. I don't have a bucket of water on me for some reason right now, but that can be fixed. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. We can make a bucket here. Grab some water. And it should not overflow. Please, please, please don't destroy everything. Awesome. So let's do that. And more on this side. Okay, let's put you here. And like this, and like this. Now for the difficult part, which is lava, because they don't, you know, you can't make infinite lava sources, unfortunately, which I really think they should add to the game, just throwing it out there. But, uh, you know, that's how it goes. So I actually have a lava bucket from our original cobblestone generator thingy which means I only need a couple more and well four more to be exact I want these torches we cannot waste anything this is a skyblock world okay so now I just need to fill this with lava and we will be good to go first I'm actually going to grab the lava bucket we have and test this out before I, you know, go get more. Here it is. Yeah, it puts that there. That's weird. All right, I'm going to go get the rest of the lava, and it should fix that problem. So I need four more buckets. All right, I need two more. One, 
two, one, two, one, two. To the nether. You know, I was about to walk through this portal, and then it, pro I, it occurred to me I probably should not bring, like, my redstone supply with me when I go through here. Just in case, you know, something were to happen. So, yeah, stuff like that's kind of important to remember. Black spike. Alright, we're good. So, I can see that there is some lava up here. Well. Can I reach it from here? Nope. Alright. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Oh. Alright, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna... No. Here's some lava. Forgot about this little patch down here. Okay. Oh, I did get one up there. Huh? I didn't even notice that. There must be another one back there. Or maybe I just grabbed two from there and didn't realize it. I don't know. Either way, I have two. I'm not questioning it. Just need to look around here. Find two more. Here's some. I remember there was some this way. Just move forward like this. Where are my buckets? Still can't reach it. But now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, just need to find one more. Absolutely perfect. Alright. Food may be an issue soon, because I haven't harvested any of the farms for a little while. That was probably not a good idea. I should stop sprinting. Yeah. Alright, let's get all this lava up to the cobblestone generator, and that should actually be done? No way. I was expecting this to be a much larger project. Alright, let's do this thing. So, here's one. Here, let's just do this. Two, three, and four. And we should see, fingers crossed. Why does that happen? Hold on. If I can't reach that far, damn it. All right, I need to block these water channels for a second. Let's get rid of this block real quick. That should, in theory, reset all the lava stream things. So, if I were to take a wooden button of some kind, attach it to somewhere over there. Will this work? Hold on. I think it's working, guys. Hold on, let me test it. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Don't. No. And now, oh, no, no, no. Son of a... Oh, God. Damn it, what happens? Alright, what's happening is that the button is too long of a pulse. It needs something longer than that in order to, you know, go all the way down in time. Surprisingly enough, I don't think we broke any torches when all that happened. So this button needs to go. It's probably just going to fall off into the void. Actually, almost certainly. Alright, no problem. Let's make another one. 
And this time, actually no, we don't need a button. What we need is the redstone, which coincidentally is way down there, but I'm way too lazy to get it. There should be some in here. Yes, there is. All right. I think all we're going to need to do, we're going to need a couple sticks. We need a redstone torch and a lever and a block. So let's test this out. Let me grab some cobblestone here. Build out this way, just like this. But first I need to stop this clock. How am I going to get over there without getting rid of this? This is already a challenge. Wonderful. All right. I need to get that repeater back. Hold on. I have a plan. I'm a man with a plan. Should light that up. Okay. I believe it was this one. Let's get rid of that. Hop down. Then dig like this one. Still can't reach it. I need that repeater. There will be no repeaters left behind on this day. Because I'm poor when it comes to redstone stuff right now. Yes, I got it. Needs to be facing the other direction, so now I need to build out here. I'll be right back. Let me just troubleshoot this a bit because I know this probably isn't the most entertaining thing in the world for you guys to watch. Okay, that took way longer than it should have. So now... And put this here, that there, in theory, let's test it again, am I collecting these? I wasn't paying attention to the number, hold on. So I have 18 now, let's see. I feel like I just lost a couple. Yeah, all right. Let's build up around the outside of this a bit, shall we? I think we shall. Like this. All right, this is good. Now let's see, let's test this out with an iron pickaxe. As usual, there's an Enderman teleporting around here right now, so let's hope he doesn't break the villager thing. Yeah, these pistons are plenty fast enough for what I need them to do. What might happen if these get stuck right in the middle there, are they going to be pushed up through the furnaces? No, they'll probably be ejected off to the sides, right? Let's hope so. Alright. Awesome. So, I think I'm going to have to end this here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.